Arthur Kome makes history after being sworn in as the first female Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya. Kome was sworn in at a ceremony held at State House Nairobi before being received at the Supreme Court of Kenya. Kome will receive her instruments of power on Monday, but nonetheless, she set the tone for her tenure in her inaugural address. I, Martha Karambu Kome, Chief Justice of the Republic of Kenya and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya. With the swearing of an oath. Without any fear, favor, bias, affection, ill will, prejudice, or any political, religious, or other influence. A pledge of allegiance and the pull of a pen, Martha Kome became the first woman to assume the office of Chief Justice of the Republic, the 15th since the Republic was born, and the third to assume office under the current constitutional dispensation. But Martha barely had time to bask in the glow of her achievement before the weight of what she's up against settled heavy on her shoulders. Just to remind you of just the oath that you have taken and to impartially do justice in accordance with this constitution as by law established. A president who's publicly undermined the authority of the judiciary by word and deed. As a Supreme Court, they cannot overturn the will of the people. Lakini Maraga thinks he can overturn the will of the people. We shall show you. Kenyatta's administration, since the annulment of his 2017 presidential win, cherry-picking the court orders with which to comply, and in a brazen demonstration of disregard, refusing to appoint 41 judges to the bench. Not only does Kome take charge of a Supreme Court, which President Uhuru Kenyatta has branded as corrupt, but her own independence as a judge is on trial. How do you intend to protect judiciary from what has become commonly known as revisit to the judiciary? No one can take it away. No one can interfere. No one can tell judges how they are going to decide cases. We will also sit at a round table and agree the areas of interdependence so that uh, when the chief justice is seen having a cup of tea with the uh, his Excellency the President or the speakers of the August Houses, it is not that we are discussing a case. We are discussing the administration of justice. Those opposed to her appointment, writing to the Judicial Service Commission to express concern that she'd bend to the will of the executive. I'm sure you live in this country and you have seen the drums of political war being beaten already. My colleagues, if you waver and this country descends into chaos, God will never forgive you. With the High Court dealing a blow to the Building Bridges Initiative and as the 2022 presidential election draws even closer, the judiciary finds itself walking a tight rope. And while she may put on a brave face, that will be the true test of Lady Justice Martha Comer's mettle. I want to thank my brother, the Honorable Mr. Justice William Mouko, I think people need to come to us and learn a lesson of how to compete for an office with grace and dignity. We were classmates. He was my boss, the president of the Court of Appeal. We competed for the same position, and we kept on encouraging and cheering one another that we are in a friendly match. This is a lesson politicians need to learn from us.